So now we'll move on to chapter two, building a move it package. It takes about two hours to complete. It shows you how to create a move it package for your industrial robot. Move it is a motion planning package for industrial robotics. It allows you to plan collision free motion from one point to another. Before using move it, we need to define configuration and launch files for a given robot arm. So let's get started defining such a package in the following exercise. So first we need to launch the move it setup assistant. Copy and paste the following command into the terminal. Open the graphic tool. Click login if prompted. Wait for the connection. And we see the Move It Setup Assistant. Now we're going to create a new Move It configuration package. Click on the button. Click Browse. Search for the Zacro file you created in the last section. Now click Load Files. Wait for the process to complete. Now it's time to configure some things. Click on the Self Collisions tab, and then click Regenerate Default Collision Matrix. These pairs of links are disabled from collision checking, thereby decreasing motion planning time. Next we move to the Virtual Joints tab. Here we define a virtual joint for the base of the robot. Click Add a Virtual Joint. In the virtual joint name text field, type fixed base. For the child link, select world if not already selected. For the parent frame name text box, enter world. Leave the joint type set to fixed and then click save. Now open the planning group tab. Click the Add Group button. For the group name, call it Manipulator. For the Kinematic Solver, use the KDL Kinematics plugin. And for the remaining text fields, leave them at their default values. Now click the Add Kin Chain button. Expanding the robot links, select the base link and click Choose Selected. Click Expand All and then choose Link Tool 0 as the tip link. Click Save. So now you've defined a group of links for performing motion planning and you've defined a plugin to calculate those plans. Now we can create a couple of predefined poses. Go to the Robot Poses tab and click on the Add Pose button. Enter all zeros in the Pose Name text field. And then click Save. Add a new pose, and this time change a couple of the joint angles.
in our name. We'll call it home. Click save. Now we have two predefined poses, all zeros and home. Click on the author information, enter your name in the name field and your email address in the email field. And finally, we click on the configuration files tab. We click browse and navigate to our catkin workspace slash source directory. In there, you can create a new directory. Call it my robot underscore move it underscore config. In this case, drag it into the source directory as we created in the wrong directory. Then select that directory and click choose. Finally, click generate package and click OK. Now your package was successfully created and exit the setup assistant. So we finished exercise 2.1. Now let's begin basic motion planning with exercise 2.2. Select the ROS launch command, copy and paste it into the available terminal. In this case, we need to enter this extra command to resize the window properly. Go back and double click the title bar to resize the window. Now let's go to the planning tab. Before we start planning, we want to update the current start state. You can update to a random valid option. The robot scene will be updated to a new random valid position. Now click the plan button and the robot will begin to plan a trajectory to reach the random point. Click the execute button to execute the trajectory. Try different start and goal states to plan and execute from. Moving the robot in the simulation. At this point, we've only moved the robot through the Move It application. This is useful because we can perform tests without potential damage to a real robot. Of course, the final goal is to use a real robot. The Move It package we've created is able to provide the necessary ROS services and actions in order to plan and execute trajectories. All the kinematics that have been performed within the Move It package were executed in an internal simulator. In order to communicate with a real robot, it's necessary to make some modifications to the Move It package we've created. Obviously, in this course, we don't have a real robot, so we will still have to use a simulator, but one that's external to Move It. Now let's get into the next exercise, exercise 2.3. First, we need to create a file to define how we will control the joints of our robot. We create controllers.yaml. Open the MyRobot it config. Open the config directory. Create the controllers.yaml there. Now let's copy the contents from the text window, paste it in. So here we're defining the action server. Using ROS topic list, we can show the topics related to the action.
we know the names of the joints that our robot uses. They were defined when we created the move it package and we can also find them in the Zacro file. Now we want to create a file to define the names of the joints of the robot. Inside the config directory, create a new file named jointnames.yaml and add the following content. Now open the myrobotmoveitcontrollermanager.launch.xml file. This is inside the launch directory. Copy and paste the content into that file. like so. In this launch file we are loading controllers.yaml and the Move It Simple Controller Manager plugin which will allow you to send plans calculated in Move It to your robot. Now we need to create a new launch file that sets up all the systems to control our robot. Create a new launch file called myrobotplanningexecution.launch inside the launch directory. Right click on the directory, click file. Copy the file name, paste it in, now open that file and copy the launch contents in this launch file we are loading jointnames.yaml and launching some other launch files we need in order to set up the move it environment. Ross topic list will show us there is a topic called SIA 10F slash joint states. This is the topic where the state of the joints of the simulated robot are published. So we need to put this topic into the sources list parameter so MoveIt can know where the robot is at each moment. So finally we're just going to launch the file we just created and plan a trajectory and then execute that trajectory. So ROS launch my robot planning execution dot launch. Wait for it to start. Now started. Open the graphical interface. Click login if prompted. Sometimes we have to rerun the WM control command to get the window in view. Click on the planning tab. We're just going to create a random valid state and plan that out. You see it plan that execution.
Now if we click execute and go back to the simulation or if it were a real robot we would see that action. Now we're done with the Move It package and off to perform motion planning. See you next time.